Welcome or welcome back at uh, C Square. In this uh, video clip, I will talk about how to use the graphing calculator, the TI83 Plus, to graph this absolute value function. And the first one I'm going to graph is the absolute value of x. You notice the calculator is cleared already, which I will suggest you to do it. Then I press the button y equal, which is right here. And then for finding the absolute value, you have to click the second button, the orange button in my case, and then this zero here, and you're going to get what is called the catalog. In the catalog, the first function, the first thing you see, in fact, is the absolute value, ABS, that stands for. You're going to click enter, which is right here, and you're going to get something like this. And now you can type your absolute value function. For me, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to start with this one. So I'm going to just type in X, which is right here. Don't forget to close the parentheses using this parentheses. And uh, then you can click this button graph to see the graph of this absolute value function, the parent graph, how sometimes it's called. This is absolute value of X. Um, the next thing I want you to see is how to get this table, and that is simply by clicking second and then the graph button, you're going to get the table. And you see here the value, you can move up and down, I move up a little bit, and you see also the negative value and the output uh, on Y1. Let's move to the second one. And you notice how I put it in. Again, remember, second catalog. Oh, first of all, don't forget to put this negative, not this one. The negative uh, is right here. This is a minus. And then second catalog, you're going to have the absolute value. You type in x minus 4. You close the parentheses. And then plus 3. And you should be fine. You see the graph here. If you remember, you get the graph by clicking uh, just graph. I'm sorry. And you see the graph. It's an upside down V. Very interesting. The other one was a regular V. Uh, those are things that you may want to notice. And uh, if you want to see uh, the table like this one, you have to click second table. And uh, you see here uh, the value. I will suggest you here, since this you have x minus 4, to have the table in the middle somewhere at x equals 4. That will be good. I don't have it here, uh, but that will be probably the best way to see the symmetry of the outputs. Now we're going to move to the next one, the third uh, absolute value function. You notice we have a fraction here, 1 over 4. Uh, that's the way you want to put it, 1 divided by 4. Use parentheses, which are right here. Of course, you can put it as a decimal, 0.25 if you want. Again, second catalog is going to give you the absolute value of x. And that's it. Then you can click the graph button. You get the graph. And you click second graph, and you get the table. And you notice here we we see the small so uh, which we should expect and the last one will be the last absolute value function which you see how i put it in again remember this is the negative this is the minus so be careful you put a negative second catalog um, you have the absolute value x plus 3, don't forget to close the parentheses, then minus 5, you use the minus right here. Um, and you should get something like this. Don't forget, if you don't like the, how it looks like, you can always adjust the window here. We're going to talk about how you adjust the window on another video clip. Uh, please follow me on my channel. And again, second graph, and you get the table. And on this table, if you notice, I was aware and I 
center the table at negative 3. That, that will be a good thing to keep in your mind. Uh, because if you center the table, then you can see that symmetry uh, eventually. Okay, so that is about graphing using this TI calculator, this absolute value function. Do not forget to get the absolute value. You have to get second zero and that the first one is the absolute value function. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back at C-square for more help. Thank you.